Hey guys, welcome to another Moby Swan video on Bloodborne. Today we're going to be doing all the weapons in game that's uh, for the Hunter's Essence Achievement Trophy, or whatever you want to dub it. And we're going to go through each weapon and their moveset. So we are going to start with the Saw Cleaver, which you start out with. We have the uh, R1 attacks. We have the strong attack. And we have the strong attack held in, which is R2. And we have the L1, which extends the blade. And this form has less damage, as most of you are probably aware. Who sets chains dramatically? This is the R1. This is the strong attack. This is strong attack held in. This is the R1 combo into L1. And the R1 into L1. Plummeting strike. Bade back step R1 and R2. Roll forward R1. Roll forward strong attack. Next we have the saw spear. R1. R2. R2 held in. Punch attack. Roll forward R1. Roll forward R2. Back step R2. Back step R1. L1 to extend the blade. R1 combo. R2. R2 held in. Next we have the Hunter's Axe. Another starting weapon. We have the R1. R2. R2 charged. Bade back step R1, Bade back step R2, L1, R1 attacks, R2, R2 charged, plummeting attack. Back step evade R1, back step evade R2, go forward R1, go forward R2. R1 to L1, R1 into L1. Next weapon we have is the threaded cane. R1 attack. R2 R2 held in Back step R1 Back step R2 Go forward R1 Go forward R2 L1 Extended R1 like I from Soul Calibur. R2. R2 charged in. Which doesn't do a charge. It's instead just R2. Backstep evade R1. Backstep evade R2. Roll forward R1. Roll 
before R2. R1 combo into L1. R1 combo into L1. Next weapon is Burial Blade, which is the boss weapon. Get it from killing Ermin, depending on what uh, ending you choose. It's like a Crescent Blade. R1. R2. R2 charged. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. L1. R1. R2. R2 charged in. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. R1 combo into an L1. R1 combo into L1. Next weapon we have is the Blade of Mercy. R1. R2. R2 charged in. Punch attack. Evade R1. Evade R2. Roll forward R1. Go forward R2. R1 into L1. L1 into R1. R1 into L1. L1 brings up the dual blades. R1 combo. R2. R2 charged, which doesn't do a charge and just enables you to cross swing both weapons. Plummeting strike. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. Next weapons we have are the Kirk Hammer. R1. R2. R2 charged. Plummeting strike. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. Back step R1. Back step R2. R1 into L1. R1. R2. R2 charge. The plummeting strike. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. R1 into L1. Next weapon we have is the Ludwig's Holy Blade. R1. R2. R2 charged. Plummeting strike. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. R1 into L1. R1. R2. R2 held in. 
Plummeting strike. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. Back step R1. Back step R2. R1 into L1. Next weapon we have is the Redder, Redder Palash. R1. R2. R2 charged in. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Forward R2. Punching strike. R1 into L1. R1. R2. R2 held in. L2. And back step R1. Back step R2. Forward R1. Forward R2. R1 into L1. Next weapon is Chicago, and the uncanny is basically the same exact weapon, just a different form or whatever. R1. R2. R2 charged. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. Punching strike. R1 into L1. You consume HP while in this form, by the way. R1. R2. R2 charged. R1 forward. Goal. Goal R2. L2. R1 into L1. Next weapon is... The Rifle Spear. R1. R2. R2 held in. Back step R1. Back step R1 into L1. R1. R2. R2 charged in. L2. Go forward R1. Forward R2. Back step R1. Back step R2. R1 into L1 combo. Next weapon we have is the stake driver. R1. R2. R2 held in. Punching strike. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. Back step R1. Back step R2. R1 into L1. R1. R2. Two charged in. Summoning strike. Board R1. Board R2. R2 
two charge in, I believe I showed that. R1 into L1. R2 charged in. And automatically changes the weapon back. Next weapon we have is the Tonitris, which I like to call the Tesla Mace. R1. R2. Punching Strike. R2 held in. Roll forward R1. Roll forward R2. Back step R1. Back step R2. R1 into L1. R1, R1. R2. R2 charged in. Punching strike. Roll forward R1. Forward R2. Step R1. Pretty much the same exact thing. Press R1, it just constantly charges it. Next weapon is Logarius's wheel. R1. R2. Two charged in. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. R1 into L1. charged in, which doesn't do a charge, which just ends up doing the regular R2, L2, this I believe empowers your weapon while consuming your life force, R1, R2, plunging strike, R1 into L1, next weapon is Beast Claws. Pretty badass weapon. You can also get this in the Chalice Dungeon. Have the R1. R2. Plunging Strike. R2 held in. Go forward R1. Go forward R2. Back step R1. Back step R2. Plunging Strike. R1 into L1. Can't really combo into that. It's when you press L1, it brings out your second claw, which uh, transforms your left arm into a beast. While your right arm stays the same to some extent. It's a little demonic or beasty. R1 combo. R2. Sealed in. L2. Plunging strike. Back step R1. Back step R2. Go forward R1. Forward R2. I want to change back. Those are all the right arm weapons. We're going to start moving on to the left hand, which is all basically guns. So we have the Hunter's Pistol, which is 
alt two to shoot. Hunter blunderbuss. Next weapon is a repeating pistol. It consumes two bullets at a time. It's very stronger than the rest of the other pistols. Kind of looks like a sawed-off shotgun. Next weapon is Evelyn, which I don't have enough stat points to use it, as well as the cannon. But the cannon is obviously the strongest weapon in terms of blood attack, and uh, its scaling isn't that great with it, but it's fairly good. Evelyn is a pistol, I believe, that is weaker than the hunter pistol and repeating pistol, but the scaling for blood tinge is really high. It's up to A rating where everything else is like B or lower. And uh, if you upgrade it to plus 7, you can get it up to S rank, and even higher than that, most likely. And we have the Flame Sprayer. Which deals fire damage, obviously. Then the uh, Rose Marinus, which does arcane damage. Looks like pesticide spray. And then we have the Hunter's Torch, and the Torch, which I don't think really makes a difference. Pretty much the same thing. Just the Hunter's Torch has better stats and durability, as well as scaling. And then you have the Wooden Shield. R2, you hold that in to block. L2 that is, I'm sorry. And there you have it ladies and gents, that is all the armor, I mean, I'm sorry, all the weapons for the left arm and the right arm. And these are, this is the full list you need for the right right arm, the saw cleaver, saw spear, hunter's axe, threaded cane, burial blade, blade of mercy, kirk hammer, ludwig's holy blade, redder, uh, redder palash, chikage with the uncanny version, Rifle Spear, Stake Driver, Denitris, Bulgaris' Wheel, and Beast Claw. With the left hand, firing the Hunter's Pistol, Hunter Blunderbuss, Repeating Pistol, Ludwig's Rifle, Evelyn, Cannon, Flame Sprayer, Rose Marinus, Hunter's Torch, Torch, and Wind Shield. Thanks a lot guys for tuning in. Hope this is uh, helpful for you guys, and hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks again guys. Have a good one. Peace.